Well, today marks one year since the Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was detained in Russia. The American journalist has been held in Moscow's infamous Levertovo prison on accusations of trying to collect Russian state secrets. That's a charge that Gershkovich, the paper, and the Biden administration all vehemently deny. The journal published a stark reminder of Evan Gershkovich's detainment on its front page today. Take a look at that. That's the headline. His story should be here. Steadies in a Russian prison. The paper also sent push notifications to smartphones this morning to try to raise awareness of Evan's plight. Joining me now is ABC News White House correspondent Mary Alice Parks to explain the latest on what the Biden administration is doing to try to get him released. Mary Alice, it does seem like uh, Joe Biden has put a lot of time and effort into this. Uh, and no deal, no sign of a deal at this point. Yeah, not yet, Terry, but it is worth taking note of this moment today. Not only that striking front page, but look, all of Washington. We saw statements today from the president, the secretary of state, both congressional leaders uh, uh, from the House and the Senate uh, on both sides of the aisle, standing together, really calling out Russia, demanding that Putin release Evan and bring him home. The message across the board from all of these Washington leaders was the same. Journalism is not a crime and that there's absolutely no evidence that he was doing anything but his job uh, trying to report, trying to report on the war in Ukraine and that he should be home with his family. Now, in that, that statement from President Biden, uh, the president wrote that he, that he noted the fact that Evan, right after he was illegally detained, drafted a letter to his family and said, I'm not losing hope. The president went on to write that he told Evan's parents, I will never give up hope either. He said, we'll continue to work every single day to secure Evans' release. Absolutely. And as anyone who's reported in Putin's Russia, especially recently, knows the line between doing your job as a reporter and getting thrown in prison is dangerously obscure. What do we know about Evan Gershkovitz's condition, where he's being held, and, and where his case is? Yeah, for this past year, he's been in a jail, a former KGB jail um, in Moscow. He has repeatedly tried to get a trial date set, but over and over, the Russian government has denied that and delayed um, any trial. Just this week, they pushed back any pretrial. Uh, he, they extended his pretrial det uh, detention another three months. The next date not set till June. Uh, really frustrating, but we, of course, continue to hear uh, moments of hope, moments of, of honestly, humor. Um, from Evan, his colleagues and his family talking about the fact that he has remained in good spirits. He is playing chess, they say, with his dad, play by play over the mail, uh, though his parents obviously trying to make sure that they are working to keep up his spirits as well. Oh, well, what a remarkable thing that is. And he certainly deserves to come home. It's time. Mary Alice Parks, thank you very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.